The UK, Canada, and the EU have been placed on the United States do not travel list of countries. It means that hopes have been dashed for international travel to resume between the Americas and Europe this summer. But the travel industry is still holding out hopes for a return to travel between the US and the UK, and possibly the EU, since the vaccine rollout has been gaining momentum between these countries, and the coronavirus infections that cause these travel restrictions are reducing. In this video, we discuss the placing of Europe and Canada on the United States do not travel list and what this means for you. Is there any hope for travels to resume? But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. This video is brought to you by IAM. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IAM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. Since last year, people have been pretty optimistic that inoculation against the virus in 2021 will reap a major reward for the travel industry. Travel within the US is starting to unravel, as US Center for Disease Control and Prevention greenlighted domestic travel. However, the same thing cannot be said about travel outside the US border. The US State Department has added at least 116 countries this week to its level 4 do not travel advisory list, putting the UK, Canada, France, Israel, Mexico, Germany, and others on the list, citing a very high level of COVID-19. Previously, the State Department listed 34 out of about 200 countries as do not travel. The State Department now lists 150 countries at level 4. The US State Department declined to say when it would complete the updates. The State Department has stated that the move did not imply a reassessment of current health situations in some countries, but rather reflects an adjustment in the State Department's travel advisory system to rely more on the Center for Disease Control and Prevention existing epidemiological assessments. The recommendations are not mandatory, and do not bar Americans from travel. There's nothing illegal about flying outside the border, and all one has to do is check social media to confirm that many Americans are indeed traveling abroad. However, the updated list is based on CEC data, in terms of how well each individual country is handling the pandemic. Despite the vaccination rate in the UK, it was still added to the list of countries where the US considers it with a high infection rate. Israel, which has the highest vaccination rate in the world is also at level 4. Here is a list of EU, EEA member states at level 4. Austria. Belgium. Bulgaria. Croatia. Cyprus. The Czech Republic. Denmark. Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Liechtenstein, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland. Only Iceland is on level 3, which means Americans are advised to reconsider traveling to Iceland. Canada, which has seen an increased number of infections, is also at level 4. To see the full eye-popping list, 
Check the official link of the US Department of State in our blog post. A lot of people strongly hoped that a travel corridor could open between the UK and the US in time for the summer due to the successful vaccine rollout in both countries, but this new move has poured doubt on those hopes. Airline companies have been pushing for a travel corridor between the UK and the US, which could connect popular routes such as New York and Florida. Many believe that the US could be put on the UK's green list when it is announced next month as part of the new traffic light scheme. This would allow British nationals to return from the US without having to quarantine back in the UK and only require a negative COVID test before returning and another one on day two. The UK government is scheduled to announce which countries will be on the green list in the upcoming weeks. On a positive note, both the US and UK's respective public health bodies have given the go-ahead for vaccinated people to travel once borders become fully open. What are your thoughts on this issue? Where do you want to go this summer? Talk to us in the comment section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.